A top Missouri lawmaker believes there will be another public vote in Jackson County to keep the Chiefs or the Royals. He sat down with leadership from both teams yesterday. And now KNBC 9's Matt Evans is live at the Truman Sports Complex after speaking to him. Matt? Yes, uh, we know that these meetings are happening yesterday. A lot going on yesterday when Missouri Governor Mike Parson was holding meetings with people like Quentin Lucas and Frank White. Missouri House and Senate leadership were holding separate meetings here at the Truman Sports Complex with both teams. Missouri House Majority Leader John Patterson, at least some a Republican, will likely be the next Speaker of the House when a new session begins in January, and he would be the first Speaker from Jackson County, Missouri, since before the Civil War. He says keeping the Chiefs and the Royals in Missouri will be a big priority for the legislature. He met with John Sherman of the Royals and Mark Donovan of the Chiefs yesterday, and after those conversations, he believes there will be another public vote, and he thinks it's much more likely to pass. I think the, with Kansas having their offer, I think there's a, a lot more urgency to it now. And um, anything that we do, it cannot happen without uh, Jackson County. So I think you'll see another vote, and I think, uh, I think Jackson County uh, will be there. Although he does add he's not exactly sure when that vote will take place or exactly what will be on the ballot. Meanwhile, in Jackson County, Missouri, there have been two separate proposals that have been held in a Jackson County committee for the last several weeks that would put a chief's only tax on the November ballot. We'll have an update on where those stand coming up on our news at 5. Live at the Truman Sports Complex this afternoon, Matt Evans, KBC 9 News. All right, thank you, Matt. Now, the deadline to approve a proposal for the November ballot is August 27th. KNBC 9 will continue to bring you any developments in the stadium talks. And as the deadline for the ballot measures approaches, we'll let you know if any are filed.